everybody is your friend and everybody is not destined to be in your life forever this is something you have to note and just put it at the back of your mind that everybody is not my friend you cannot force friendship on people you cannot keep forcing yourself on people and say you must be my friend or try to do things you know to please everybody you have feelings you are human being you have your own life don't try to please every human being that comes around you know that friendship actually is for a reason or people are actually in your life for a reason and for a particular time so you need to know that friendship is for a reason and for a season these are the things you have to note okay now before you accept friends into your life there are a lot of things you have to note down okay before you can ask okay this person is my friend and i'm ready to you know do good on this life journey with this person you know we're ready to share our experiences together our life together you know share a lot of things together share secrets together okay but these are the things you have to note, okay, before you now say, okay, this person is my friend. But I'll change it, change it. We're going to be talking about friendship generally. If you have actually been hurt by a friend or you have felt sad, okay, being in a friendship with somebody for a very long time without gaining anything, let's talk about it on this video. Like, let's talk about it. We are in this together. How do you feel? How are you feeling? Or how do do you still feel hot do you still feel bad okay let's just talk about it on this video today i just felt like i know a lot of people are just being are just hot by betrayal from a friend or one thing one thing let's talk about it drop your comment on this video let us talk about it you guys welcome back to my channel my name is princess shola olale aka niger princess and it's so amazing to have you drop by thank you so much thank you so much for always clicking i'm really you know grateful for clicking and watching this video in case you're just seeing my face for the first time you already know my name okay and please subscribe to my channel like my videos and invite your friends also to subscribe and like this video okay so today we're talking about friendship generally all right so if you have been hurt by a friend like a friend has hurt you in the past or you just feel that you wasted your time in friendship with somebody then this video is actually for us for us more than above <laughs> it is for the both of us you guys have actually been hurt by a friend okay for and, and that was really way back in the university i felt betrayed i felt so hot like i felt so hot but i don't know i did along the line i'm somebody that actually do not really carry things in my mind i'm, I'm somebody that will bust out i can bust out like talk about things right now and the next minute is off but i found out that this one actually lingered it lingered more than that that means i was really really hot what I fail to understand is that people are actually in my life for a reason and for a season. I didn't understand that. It didn't come so early. You know, I saw the signs. I saw signs everywhere for me to quit that particular friendship with this person. And it was a lady. You guys, calm down. It was a lady. I know people always say, eh, don't do friendship with a lady as a lady. It's better you even have friends as guys. Guys, well, I've met wonderful ladies. But this was in my past that I met this particular lady. We are good now. We talk now. Okay, but then guys, I was really hurt as a person that, you know, somebody I call a friend can actually hurt me that bad. I'm not here to say the details because I'm forgiving this person. Okay, but I felt so bad that, you know, my friend could hurt me, but I didn't know that was, you know, that was a reason for the friendship and that was, that friendship was for a season. I was still friends. I, I don't know if we're still close friends, but we're just friends there. We're just talking, you know, there are categories of friendship we're just there and there and there everybody just on their own we're all grown up now okay that's one thing you need to know about people and you know time time and season all right so this person was in my life for a time and a season all right guys that's just it and it's also very important if you want to enjoy good friendship with people all right you come into you want to really enjoy good friendship it is very important that you have you know your life vision for the kind of friends or the kind of people you want to to accept into your circle who are those kind of people you really want to be in your circle it is very important my circle is very small after my university days you know i started copying the ways i accept friends into my life i was if you know me before everybody is my sister like if you just come i can introduce 
1,000 persons to you, I'm exaggerating, guys. But can introduce a lot of people in a day for you and say, this person is my friend, this person is my sister. I remember a friend of mine asking me one day, please say, how many sisters and, and siblings do you even have in this school? <laughs> that was just me. I was just that person. I was just everywhere. I was just, you know, my mind was just so Libra until I got you know, hot by a friend and I felt like, I, I felt so betrayed and all, okay? So it is very important that you accept the fact that you need to, you know, have a vision for your own life. Now, when you have a vision, this is what vision does for you. It makes you to, you know, know the kind of people to accept into your circle, the kind of people that you should let into, you know, open the doors of your heart to, you know, for you to start telling things, you know, opening up to the person. I know everyone has a secret, but sometimes those secrets can be so heavy that you, you're looking for someone you want to see say those things to you want to pour out your heart to and these people are just not you know it's, it's actually hard for them to come by but god bless me with friends god has blessed me with friends guys and they're not guys alone that's even ladies i have friends that are ladies and they are doing well and there's no envy i have my prayer partners and they are we are best of friends the three of us we can talk about anything we share life we we'll share about life, we we'll share about marriage, we we'll share about things we are going through, and you cannot hear it outside. I know that people say three is a crowd, but we are actually not crowd for each other. Like we just enjoy each other's company. Okay. Now I have other friends too that we are very close. I have my best friend. She's not my prayer partner, but we are best of friends, and we talk about literally everything. She pours her heart to me. I do. I do same. If I'm looking for someone, I can go and rake and tell things about how I'm feeling. I know that person. Okay, to run to. I have like two friends like that I can always run to. Okay, my circle is very small. I I can literally say I don't have more than six friends in my life. But those six friends, everybody have their own reason for being in my life. And I found that you know this, you know the hurt I went through in the past year has opened my eyes to say, okay, this person is for this reason, and this is why this person is in my life. Okay, I can't, you know, I can't try to push everything into you know their life now when i'm talking about vision vision is what you know is a part of you now when you start living your vision you attract your life likes attract likes you can only attract the person that you are okay so when the wrong people start coming into your life you just know that this person doesn't belong to my life vision or they don't fit into my future these are the things you need to know okay when i say vision i'm not saying you should write your vision because the Bible say, write your vision, make it bold, that whoever that comes will run with it. I'm not saying paste it everywhere in your wall, so that when people open the door and come into your house, they'll start seeing your vision. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you should leave it out. Leave out your vision, so that when people come, they will see who you are and, you know, embrace the person that you are, and try to also see if they fit into your future. And you too, you'll be able to, you know, be conscious to note if this person is is qualified to be in your circle. This is very important. Have you been hurt by a friend? Like, have you been hurt? If you have been hurt, you can't be letting everybody into your life. You can't just let anybody open doors for anybody, be it a man, be it a woman. You can't just let anybody into your life. I used to have a friend in those days that, you know, I can tell everything and this person will tell me everything about their life. But guess what? I will never say a thing. But this friend will always, you know, this is my so-called friend. We always, you know, say things about me behind me and come and tell me that those people said this and said that. Me, I would uh, form an offer for the person. But I don't know, say my friend, I don't send me behind until something happened. When this friend didn't have a house, you know, they were stranded in school. I, I actually was living in self-contained in school then. I had to, you know, bring her into my house and say, stay, don't pay. Because I love staying with people. I'm actually not, I'm not the person that stays alone. Even in that house, I still go to other people's house to go and sleep because I'm just scared of living alone. But this, my friend was staying in my house, eating my food and was, or was always, you know, going behind me to say things until the day my lodge members he, he has used me to go and eat food everywhere and everybody came out and started saying what she has said i was so shocked did i send her out of my house i did not you guys i didn't because i know she didn't have a place to go but on her on her own before i came back for a holiday and came back i saw that she has moved all her things you know without even saying goodbye she moved out of my house she even rented her own apartment 
around my lodge without even saying anything. But that's life for you. People are just in your life for a reason. Either you are the one helping them or they're benefiting something. There's something they're benefiting from you. Or probably God has sent them to, you know, direct your path or, you know, do something, help your life in one way or the other. Everybody comes to your life for a reason. This is what you have to note, okay? So if you're feeling hurt, you know people always say, don't do friendship with a woman, follow only men. There's nothing like women helping women. No, there is something like that. I've seen, I've enjoyed women helping me. I've enjoyed help by women. The first grant I won as a business person was from a friend, was it from a woman. She told me, princess, you can apply for grants. Your, your business is good enough to apply for grants. And I said, ah, this small business I just started, she said you can apply for grants. And I applied, I won. The dad was going for to pitch for that grant. She told me if you don't come back with the money, don't even come close to my house. I'm sure she's going to watch this video and she'll be laughing. But that's the truth. I came back and I came back with the placard and the money. I told her, babe, I came back with the money back. And it was so shocking. This lady has helped me more than how many, she has helped me in so many ways and still helping me. Each time I'm confused in my life, I know how to run to her. She's the one person I'll just run to. So some advices she has given me in the past, I did not utilize them. But after some days, when I started utilizing them, it worked. Things just changed, you know, drastically. And she's one person I can always vouch for that this person is my friend. So, do you have such a friend in your life? Like, do you have that friend you can run to and tell the person this, that, that, that? Then that person is really who God has sent to your life and they are there for a reason. They are not deaf, they are not seasonal people. They are there for a reason. They have come to fulfill the purpose that God has sent them into your life. Embrace them. Engage that friendship with open heart. Try as much as possible. If you are a good friend, you only attract a good friend. Now that's the question. Are you really a good friend? That's the question. I'm not saying you should answer me. I'm saying answer your heart. Ask yourself, are you really a good person? Until you will discover if you're a good person. Until you have, if you, are, you can surely tell yourself, yeah, I'm a good person. I'm a good friend, okay? If you can say that, then you can only attract good people in your life. Bad people will not, you know, they will not flock into your life because you're a good person. You can only attract good, okay? So that's where I'm going to end this video. So in case you've been hurt by a friend, I just pray that God helps you to heal faster, you know, just drop that baggage. It's a baggage. I know how I carried mine for years. It was so hurting. I know. I understand. I w I've been in that place, okay? And that's why I just felt led today to talk about friendship and how hurting friendship can be. So if you have been hurt by a friend, please drop the baggage. Forgive the person. Let go. If you are still holding, you know, grudges against this person, you are not just doing it for this person. You're not holding this person, you're holding yourself from moving forward and that's why you are still down. So move ahead, drop that baggage, forgive the person, call the person, say I'm forgiving you or send a text to me, say I'm forgiving you. The Lord said I should forgive you because you cannot, you know, put a, a, a new wine into an old wine skin. It is not possible, okay? So forgive and forget. I know there's nothing like forget, but forgetfulness is not that it goes out from your heart. It is the fact that you have forgiven and inside your heart within you know that you have truly forgiven. That's what forgetfulness is to me. I don't know what it is for you. I'm not saying you are a magician that once you just forgive, you are forgiven. You're not God now. You still have your heart and it stores things. It stores things. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I don't want it to be long. It's just me trying to, you know, say this that everybody are in your life for a reason accept them the way they are if possible and you know accept the fact the, the fact that they are in your life to you know perform what god has sent them for and be careful of the people you accept into your circle this is very important thank you so much you guys for watching i really appreciate god bless you see you on my next video bye guys